Hi, my name is Carrie Toth with Fluency Matters, and I want to share with you how I used the reader Felipe Allo and the film Sugar to play the game Pass It Up, which we learned from our friend Senor Woolley. First, I made the materials, just the names Felipe, Sugar, and the two of them, and then I picked some places from both the reader and the film. I divided my class into four rows. They're actually just two teams. The two rows on the left are team A and the two rows on the right are team B, but they have different responsibilities. Row one of team A and row one of team B have the names Felipe, Sugar, and the both. And row B of both teams have the places. So whenever I make a statement, they have to choose the name and the place to pass it up. So the student at the back of the row has the names or the places in front of them. As you can see, they're ready for this question to come to them. They have to grab the correct name or place and pass it all the way to the front of their row. The person in the front then will run to the board where there's a magnet and they have to hang it and they have to be completely horizontal before it's an acceptable point. What you need to know is that they have to hang them both horizontally, they have to be the correct answer, and that pair of students, either team A or team B, have to return and be completely sitting before it counts for the point. So sometimes the answers will be really close. Somebody will maybe miss the place, and they may be sitting first, but they don't have the answer correct. If they get back to their seats and they've rushed back and it's been a really tight race, then I give the points based on who's is hanging the most horizontally and sometimes we have to break out the ruler. This game is meant to be a review. So I'm not teaching any new content. This is at the end of a reader unit. I've always tried to do a reader in conjunction with some kind of other resource, like a film is always great because one of the things our students need to learn to do is compare and contrast and to see the similarities and differences in two stories. And when there are those two stories, we can also apply it to their own lives. So it's a great review. The team that gets the most points actually just gets a dumb prize like a sticker, but it's so much fun as a way to go back over all of that text that we've either read or the things that we've listened to in the film and get some repeated exposure to the storyline and the narrative in both of those pieces. I want to give you just a few minutes to let my class, let you watch my class play the game. Um, I hope you enjoy. I gave them the instructions in Spanish. Hola amigos. Dominicana y en Estados Unidos. Esta persona vivía. 
ella con una mamá blanca y un papá negro. Ah, oh, perfecto. ¿Qué tiene? Felipe habló en la República Dominicana. ¿Comprende? So, JJ y Adon corren a la pizarra. Jugaba al béisbol y lanzaba la jabalina. ¿Quién y dónde? ¿Quién y dónde? Jugaba al béisbol y lanzaba la jabalina. Muy horizontal. Muy bien. JJ no corre. ¿Todo? Tienen la respuesta correcta. Pero ¿qué equipo ganó? Sí. Los perros de agua ganaron el punto. Muy bien, perros. So, perros del agua. Gatos de fuego. Una rotación, por favor. La persona en frente va a la posición. Oh, muy bien. Jugaba al béisbol en el equipo The Swing. Jugaba al béisbol en el equipo The Swing. Thank you for watching us play Pass It Up. Thanks, Senor Wooly, for the awesome idea. It works great with our readers as well. And thank you guys for reading Fluency Matters readers. We encourage you to visit us at our website, www.fluencymatters.com.